We begin our 2013 Turnaround Achievement Awards at Bethel Hanbury Elementary, where it has been a pleasure watching fourth grader Tyshawn Benjamin mature as a student. At the beginning of his educational career, he was not excited about school, but with the support of his family and teachers, he has proven that he is ready to give his best each day. Tyshawn's bright smile reminds us that great things are happening for him as he constantly practices our expectations of being respectful, responsible, and safe. We know that even greater days are ahead for Tyshawn, and we are proud of his positive example for others. If you can dream it, you can do it. When Walt Disney shared this quote with the world, I believe he had students like Blythewood High School sophomore Aaron Dom in mind. Aaron is a great example of a student who has made a decision to change his life for the better. We are proud of him for making the choice to take responsibility for his life and to go after his dreams. That's quite a change from last year when he struggled with disciplinary problems throughout the year. But now he wants to stay out of trouble because he has dreams to play baseball in college and to become a mechanical engineer. Taylor Harris is an eighth grade student who was new to Blythewood Middle School this year and what a challenging transition it was. She made promises that she would improve but teachers were beginning to have doubts. But once she removed herself from the people who pulled her down, she rose to the top. The biggest change in Taylor happened when she joined the basketball team. Her positive behavior became permanent. The changes that Taylor has made will allow her to finish out her eighth grade year on a strong note and start ninth grade off on the right foot. Adjusting to a new school was also hard for Bookman Road fifth grader Caitlin Bocker, but she has certainly made improvements academically and socially. Caitlin joined the Bookman family this year after growing up in Alaska. At the beginning of the year, she was extremely shy and at times afraid to speak up and ask questions. But throughout this year, she has made new friends and has shown us her spunky personality through her sense of humor. In the classroom, Caitlin brings a positive attitude and strong work ethic. She is a hard worker and consistently puts her personal best into all of her work. Bridge Creek Elementary fifth grader Hannah Almond has grown tremendously this school year and has become quite a leader. Whenever a new student enrolls, it has been Hannah's responsibility to give a tour and introduce the student to other teachers. Last year, Hannah moved to South Carolina and knows firsthand what an adjustment that can be. This year, we've seen Hannah come out of her shell and be herself no matter what. Catawba Trail 5th grader Charles Austin Robertson struggled with behavioral difficulties from the time he was in early elementary school, but no one observing him in his current 5th grade classroom would ever believe it. The temper tantrums have been replaced by excellent choices he now makes that keeps him out of trouble and awards him the friendship of his classmates and the respect of his teachers. Austin is a student who wants to do well in school and have friends, and through much hard work has made remarkable progress towards accomplishing this goal and we know he will be successful as he moves to middle school. Over the past two years, Alec Pantoa, a ninth grader at the Center for Accelerated Preparation, or CAP, has shown tremendous academic and social growth. He has learned and demonstrated more effective methods of managing his anger. He's enrolled in the Junior ROTC program at Richland Northeast High School, and he uses the leadership skills and good behavior he has learned through ROTC on the campus of CAP. These skills will assure Alec a successful high school career. Clemson Road Child Development Center's Brianna Martin has emerged like a beautiful butterfly from her cocoon of troubled feelings and actions. The hard work of her teachers and parents has resulted in a major turnaround in her behavior and feelings. She enters class every morning with a smile on her face and hugs for her teachers and friends. She takes the time to be an integral part of the classroom environment pauses to weigh the consequences of her helpful versus hurtful actions towards others, and shows compassion and kindness toward those around her. Brianna will be a shining star as she moves on to kindergarten. Condor Integrated Arts Magnet second grader Zamarius Z. Williams 
notices when someone is upset or hurt and offers to help them. If another student is struggling with a situation, Z shows empathy and is very encouraging to that child. He loves to be silly and teach others new things such as cool dance moves. Family and friends are very important to him. Z is a very fast learner and is an out-of-the-box thinker. This year, Zamarius has overcome acting out his frustration in negative ways and has channeled his behavior to meet teacher expectations. Michael Quattlebaum has attended Dent Middle School for the last three years. And with the support of his family, friends, teachers, and administrators, Michael has overcome a few personal obstacles to make great strides in his academic work and in his classroom behavior. Earlier this year, Michael faced both academic challenges and social pressures. He credits time spent in Blythewood Academy's smaller school setting as motivating him to return to Dent with the dedication and determination needed to be successful. He plans to build on what he's learned in order to be a productive and contributing student athlete for Richland Northeast High School next year. Talk about an attitude adjustment? E.L. Wright 7th grader Joshua Hammonds has gone from making sure everyone knew how much he didn't like school to recently laughing one day during a lesson, happily saying this is what school is supposed to be like. His attitude has become very positive, he encourages his classmates, and has even stepped in to try and calm an upset student. He is a true inspiration, proving that an attitude adjustment can change your life. His grades have also reflected this change. Congratulations, E.L. Wright's Joshua Hammonds. As an English language learner at Forest Lake Elementary, Hermine Chalcha Diaz entered fifth grade as a shy and apprehensive young boy. Throughout the course of his fifth grade year, Hermine has made changes academically, behaviorally, and socially. He has come out of his shell and has become a hard worker who perseveres even when the material is difficult. He consistently turns in work that displays his best effort and has also become an independent learner and thinker. Hermine's teachers are so proud of his accomplishments and know he has such a bright future ahead of him. Keels Elementary 5th grader Tony Carson has been very successful in overcoming problems. Take reading for example. In first grade, teachers determined she had difficulties so she became a reading recovery student and now she can't stop reading. As soon as she returns a book, she immediately checks out the next one. Her next obstacle? Decision-making and temperament. But as she has matured throughout the years, she has discovered better methods for handling her anger and disappointments by expressing her feelings in a calm and discreet manner. Kelly Mill Middles, Colin Helton, struggled with the transition from elementary to middle school. His sixth grade year at Kelly Mill was filled with social and academic struggles. In seventh grade, Colin began participating in the mentoring program with Fort Jackson soldiers, as well as taking Taekwondo after school. His self-confidence rose, as did his grades. As a current eighth grader, he has been recognized as a Life Skills Award recipient and was selected to participate at the Regional Science Fair. Around campus, this polite and friendly young man can be found reading, talking with friends, singing with the choir, or doing community service. Anthony Williams' first year at Killian Elementary didn't win many points in the areas of behavior and social interactions with his peers, but things have greatly improved this year. Anthony's attitude is pleasant, he enjoys finding humor along with his classmates, and he takes a leadership role in group and partner assignments. He aspires to become a United States Marine, so Anthony continually applies his ability to lead effectively. Anthony is taking the necessary steps to become the best student and leader that he can be. Thanks to the positive culture at Lake Carolina Elementary, fifth grader Ryder Dixon's life has changed for the better. After attending three schools in different districts, Ryder began the school year expecting unfriendly students and a lack of trust between classmates. He also asked to work by himself when it was time for group work. But after several months, he began realizing he was treated like a friend and he worked hard on improving his relationships with others. He says he's glad he came to Lake Carolina where he has teachers and classmates who like to help him do well. Samari Stocks is a Lankford Elementary fifth grader who has shown tremendous growth in his character development and academic endeavors. Previously, Samari had difficulties maintaining his composure and keeping a positive outlook. Now Samari has matured into a model student 
who always gives his best efforts in the classroom and his social interactions. When presented with tough choices and situations, especially socially, Samari has consistently demonstrated the ability to make the right choice to avoid problems. Charisma Stevenson Bowman is a 7th grade student at Longleaf Middle School who epitomizes a true turnaround student. As a 6th grader, Charisma had some serious disciplinary problems with some tough consequences. But those days are over. Now, as a 7th grader, Charisma truly leads by example, exercises good judgment, achieves excellence, and participates responsibly. In addition to her behavior, Charisma has been an honor roll student and a student that is developing deep roots and branching aspirations. Thank you, Charisma, for your hard work. Gavin James had a rough transition this year when he transferred from one middle school to Muller Road Middle School and he had difficulty establishing relationships with his peers and teachers and was often very negative. However, Gavin has made significant progress and has really matured and shown a turnaround in his attitude and behavior. He started the school year shortly after the loss of a family member, but he did not let this bring him down and continued to turn the corner in a positive direction. When asked what changed him this year, Gavin replied, my heart and my head. To Travius Ingram's teachers at Lonnie B. Nelson Elementary say it has been a pleasure to watch Trey transform into a leader and grow academically and socially. The fifth grader continues to persevere through his studies, showing progress at every corner, regardless of the challenges presented. At the beginning of this year, Trey struggled with maturity and respect, but now he is a role model for what it means to be a leader and lifelong learner. Way to go, Trey. Over at North Springs Elementary, fifth grader Marlo Johnson had many anger and frustration issues, but throughout the year he has learned to deal with his feelings in productive ways. He now recognizes when he is feeling frustrated and making poor decisions and corrects himself before he gets in any trouble. Marlo's teachers, peers, parents, and school administrators are very proud of his hard work to turn his feelings into positive actions. We all look forward to hearing great things about Marlo Johnson in the future. The Polo Road family is pleased to honor Nicholas Jackson as its 2013 turnaround student. In years past, Nicholas struggled with behavioral problems. He had a difficult time controlling his emotions, which surfaced in his relationships with his peers and in his academic performance. With the unyielding support of his dad, mom, and grandmother, Nicholas has blossomed. After settling into second grade, Nicholas learned various strategies to help him cope with his feelings. He also learned how to appropriately respond to social situations with others. Nicholas has become a model student who soars academically. Over the course of her fifth grade year, Lauren Smalls from Pontiac Elementary has gained an enormous amount of self-confidence and has developed new leadership skills. Lauren is patient, creative, and willing to help. She is a true asset to her class. She has truly become a peer mentor in her class and helps other students to maintain positive attitudes. Aaron Russo has stepped up to the plate in class. The Rice Creek Elementary fifth grader was very quiet and introverted at the beginning of the year and was reluctant to participate. However, over the course of the year, he has blossomed. He has started to participate in class discussions and tries very hard in class. He has made friends, does well with group work, and is a great addition to the Rice Creek family. Sonia Ketchens, a senior at Richland Northeast High School, could write a book about her personal challenges and struggles. The title might be called, How I Persevered and Succeeded. Throughout it all, Sonia was able to maintain her grades and become a Cadet Chief Petty Officer in the Naval Junior ROTC. In addition, Sonia has received a $180,000 ROTC scholarship She's graduating early at the top 10% of her graduating class, planning to attend the University of South Carolina to major in biology pre-med in the fall. Her career plan is to become a naval officer and attend medical school to be an OBGYN. Alice Heo had missed 65 days of school and showed up at Ridgeview High School to officially drop out. Thankfully, her guidance counselor, Jacqueline Walker, convinced her to stay on and with her mom, worked out a plan to get her back on the road to success. Through their dedication and Alice's perseverance and the desire to change her behaviors, she has been able to stay focused and get her grades back on track to graduate this year. This rededicated effort has also resulted in her coming back to JROTC 
where she has earned the position of company commander and is responsible for the morale, welfare, and training of more than 100 cadets. Roundtop's Turnaround Award winner was nominated by not one, but by two faculty members. Ayana Cartledge began attending Roundtop as a spunky three-year-old, but even then she was already making an impact on the school. Over the years, Ayana has overcome many challenging behaviors to blossom academically and socially. The fifth grader is a member of the Aviator Dance Company, where she is confident and poised on the stage. She was the top reader during last year's Reading with the Gamecocks and was celebrated at a USC women's basketball game for her achievement. Damian Perez has truly become a Sand Lapper star. This is the third grader's first year at Sand Lapper and got off to a rough start, lacking motivation to do his schoolwork, becoming easily frustrated, and always arguing with his classmates and adults. However, that was then. Today he comes in and begins his work by himself. He tries a lot harder to find the answers on his own, and his outbursts of frustration have disappeared. He is now an A-B student and a role model for his peers. Damien is truly a turnaround student. Timothy Wooten is a senior at Spring Valley High School who is anxiously awaiting graduation day. He has come so very far in his maturity. He has been focused and diligent in making certain that his assignments have been done, that he is tracking his own grades. Tim is a model student who has completely shifted his entire way of thinking and has become more conscientious about his demeanor and decision making. He doesn't want to let anyone down, including himself. Timothy is proof that you do not have to be a victim of your circumstances and you can rise above whatever you've gone through in life. Eighth grader Aaliyah Sumter is a shining example of what it means to be a Summit Parkway Eagle. Aaliyah has been nominated as a turnaround achievement student because she has greatly improved herself as an all-around individual this year, including improving her academic performance. She consistently makes A's and B's in all subjects. This year Aaliyah has lived the Summit Parkway Middle School credo. Be smart, be humble, and learn like a champion today. Aaliyah Sumter is a champion in every sense of the word. Westwood High School's first turnaround student is senior Fashard Caldwell, who began his high school journey at Richland Northeast High School. He admits that in those early years he struggled, got into trouble, and made poor choices. But during his junior year he became involved in the Convergence Media Program at Richland Northeast under the leadership of Lynn Washington. He transferred to Westwood this year and continued his work in the Westwood Convergence Media Program under Miss Washington's leadership. He credits the program at both schools and for influencing his turnaround. He ran the soundboard for the home basketball games and has been on the AB Honor Roll all year for the first time in his high school career. Windsor Elementary 5th grader Ian Manning is getting better each day, behaviorally and academically. With a lot of help and understanding, including Project Care small group sessions, Ian has worked hard to improve his life and his education. He is behaving much better and is serving as a student leader. His grades have also improved as he works hard to be on the honor roll. Keep up the good work, Ian, and best wishes for success in middle school. Congratulations to our 2013 Turnaround Achievement Award winners.